as I think I've, uh, either I or Shanna have touched on this morning. Next chart. So here's a little uh, vignette to end with. The Global Exploration Strategy guides NASA's far-reaching missions of discovery, which will be empowered which will by a new generation of safe, reliable, and cost-effective space transportation systems. The next phase of space exploration will allow astronauts allow to conduct scientific exploration on the Moon and Mars, yielding new knowledge from the unique vantage point of space, as well as finding new resources for future use. You. In the foreseeable future, the first human footprint will be placed on Mars, one of Earth's closest planetary neighbors. That journey begins with longer trips with to the Moon, where astronauts will learn to live off the land and work productively, while relatively close to home, and further survey the moon for scientific information and future resources. These pioneers will open new frontiers that will improve the quality of life on Earth for generations to come. This includes inspiring students to study math, science, and engineering to keep America globally competitive. Today, NASA and its partners are designing and developing systems that will carry new generations of explorers on fresh journeys, fresh to infinite possibilities. While using the latest tools and techniques, engineers are building on a foundation of knowledge gained from almost 50 years of hard-won experience to enhance mission success. NASA's Ares Projects Office is developing two new launch vehicles to empower this new era of exploration. The Ares 1 Crew Launch Vehicle and the Ares 5 Cargo Launch Vehicle. The Ares 1 will be the new flagship of America's space fleet. The first test flights are scheduled for later this decade with crew transport to the International Space Station planned for early next decade. For lunar missions, the Ares-5, which is the larger of the two systems, will be sent into space first. The Ares-5 is about the size of the Apollo Saturn V. Its first stage uses two five-segment reusable solid rocket boosters derived from space shuttle hardware and a cluster of five RS-68 liquid-fueled engines, originally developed for the Delta IV expendable launch vehicle. Using proven technology for both vehicles will reduce the cost of the design effort and future space launch operations, as well as increase reliability and creativity. It also will provide the capability to survive and thrive while exploring new territories. The Ares 5 heavy lift system will launch us off to the Earth departure stage, which carries the lunar lander, equipment, and supplies needed for trips to the moon as the first step toward much longer journeys to Mars. The Ares 5 Earth departure stage will carry the lunar lander to orbit. Once the Ares 5 has reached orbit, the Ares 1 will launch the crew into space. The Ares-1 first stage consists of a five-segment reusable solid rocket booster like the ones used on the Ares-5. The vehicle's inline design puts the crew above the propulsion system, while the integrated launch abort system on top of the Orion and crew exploration vehicle can move the astronauts quickly away in case of an emergency. The recovery process for the Ares reusable solid rocket boosters will be similar to the process used today to recover the space shuttle boosters. Once the first stage is jettisoned, the Ares-1 upper stage will ignite its J-2X engine to place the Orion into orbit. The J-2X engine is evolved from the Apollo Saturn V vehicle. Once Orion reaches orbit, it will rendezvous and dock with the Earth departure stage. After checking out all systems, the Earth Departure Stage's J-2X engine will fire a second time to perform a translunar injection burn, and it's off to the moon. Arriving in lunar orbit, the crew will descend to the moon's surface in the lunar lander. 
Capable of carrying twice as many astronauts to the moon's surface as did Apollo, the lander will enable the crew to stay for more than a week at a time, performing scientific investigations and, in essence, learning to live off the land. When their job is done, they will launch in the lunar lander and rendezvous and dock with Orion, which is waiting for them in lunar orbit. Once the crew transfers to the Orion, the lunar lander will be expended and Orion's engine will fire to send the astronauts on their journey home. Prior to re-entering Earth's atmosphere, Orion will jettison its service module, which protected the heat shield from the space environment throughout the mission. Once exposed, the heat shield protects the crew from the excessive heat of re-entry. After re-entering Earth's atmosphere, parachutes will deploy, slowing the Orion's speed so that it can make a safe landing on dry land or in water. The Orion has the potential to be reusable, further reducing the cost of future operations. With its roots in Apollo and the Space Shuttle, and its future in traveling to the Moon and Mars, the Ares-1 crew launch vehicle and the heavy lift Ares-5 cargo launch vehicle will help America achieve the next step toward expanding knowledge through space exploration. For more information about NASA's exploration launch vehicles, visit us on the web at nasa.gov.